Hey guys, Run with Craft Scissors here with an uh, unboxing of the Pleasure Society for December. Um, I'm a little late in getting this done because it arrived like Christmas Eve. So <laughs> there was no time. But I do get the washi tape subscription as well, so that's on here. Um, and then I did go ahead and resub to the new subscription, um, which I'll try to remember the link, um, the Planner Society like website in the description. I didn't in my last video and someone was like, where do I gotta get by these? And I was like, Oh, whoops. Um, so I'll try to remember to do that. But the box is now going to come every other month. So that will change um, me as well because I used to film a video every month of it. So now it'll be every other month or I might do projects with it throughout the month. Now that I have more time to play with it, I don't know. So we shall see. But today is probably going to be me just decorating uh, my TN inserts. Like the outside of it, I think, is what I'm going to plan on doing. Um, I don't understand T and setups yet, um, <laughs> uh, for me to like do that part. I don't know. Maybe I'll stick some things in there, but I'm also moving from the T and that I'm in to the one that is going to be in the planner society in January because I resubbed in November. That's all confusing. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the washi tape first. Cause I'm super excited about all this like stars and I love this like pink plaid. So pretty. So pretty. I know I ruined the bag. I don't really care. Okay, so this one. Where's my knife? Just had it to open the box. So I zoomed way in. I'll zoom out in a minute. Um, probably when I get to like the papers or something. So you guys can see the giant mess on my desk. So I actually restocked something in my shop because of her. Um, because this has like yeah, it does. It has the silver stars. They have silver foiling with silver stars and it's just so gorgeous that I had to restock my silver star planner clip because how much does that go together it's amazing so I love it and then um do this one this one also has like the foiling on there would you guys know I'm all about that foiling and I love that she went silver because the past has been rose gold or gold. I don't think that she has done silver yet. And I like the white background on this with the silver. It almost looks like snowy. I don't know, but that's really pretty to me. This one doesn't have the stars. It's just dots. You guys can see. Okay. I scratched myself on the tree. Uh, we put the tree away today. So that's what all the scratches are from. My cat doesn't scratch. <laughs> She'll bite sometimes, but... She doesn't usually scratch and then this one has the stars it's like this pink fairy dust um washi is what i like to call it i don't know it's very whimsy but look at that those silver stars so beautiful so i love the washi in this kit this month super excited to do things with it so that's the washi subscription moving on okay so this one so I usually cut this part because I reuse the bags to hold my stuff for the month that we're in. There. Okay. Sneak peeks. You guys want to see? Okay. So first up, ooh, I'm super excited about this one because I like these a lot. I like to use them for washi. I have one in my purse as a makeup bag. The bow fell off once, but I fixed it. And this one has the cute stars. Mine's kind of at like a weird angle right there. I don't know what's happening. It's supposed to be like bent like that. I don't know. Mine got folded funny. There. Now it looks right. <laughs> Always test out your zippers, ladies, when you get stuff like this. Um, to make sure that it works. But this is like a leather and this is like a plastic and it's got those silver stars on it. It's got this cute little pink bow and I just love it. And I like to add little charms on here too, sometimes. So there's lots of things you could do with that. All right, so that was our first item. Next up, we have tabs, which I might actually use um, from this kit. I don't know, because I did put the January monthly spread in my planner. Oh, why does it not feel like, it doesn't feel like there's nearly as many as there usually is. Yeah, there's not. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight eight that's weird i feel like it's usually more maybe it's not and i'm just nuts is it usually more than that maybe mine is like mispackaged 
I don't know. And then you get two sheets of each one of these. And I don't think she usually like switches these up too much. I don't know. So, because I haven't used a tin that much. But I guess a lot of people switch up their inserts like every month. But I haven't done that. Okay, so we may use those in the setup. Um, she did the velvety bows again. I thought it was cute that she went with the wide clips. And a little, so this one's a charm. But I don't like velvet. Like, I just don't like the way it feels. Um, but that's just me. So this one is very cute though. I will say that. It's got a little stone inside the star. That moves around apparently in there. Yeah, it moves around. That's interesting. Um, so it has a charm and then like a matching clip. So with a little same star on it. It's stuck. There you go. But it's got that velvety on there. The velvety ribbon. So that's cute. But I like the paper. She didn't um, slice it to put, them, put the clips on. So that's kind of good. All right. And then we have our pin. Which I like the plaid. And the rose gold. I think I would have liked a pink, like, I would have liked a pin with this on it, but that's okay, too. I think it's this. But it came out more teal than blue. I feel like this one's more of periwinkle blue. And this one's more of a teal, but it's the same pattern. And then you've got your plaid that matches that, so that's cute. And then we have... Oh, yeah, these are, like, little header tabs kind of thing. So there's um, the different patterns of paper, today, notes, month, week, lists, today, notes, they did it in silver. Match the other accent color that they've used in this kit. That's kind of fun. Um, these are good if you like change out your inserts, I think every month. And then we have the washi tape that came with the kit, which I feel like everyone was super excited about. Everyone loves when there's bows. This month did not have girls or animals. I will say that. Don't you find that kind of interesting? She went with stars, I feel like, was the theme. I got it. This one didn't keep going. So this one's kind of fun. It's a horizontal where the other ones are kind of versatile. This one's more horizontal with the plaid. And it's got like pink. Um, it's got pink stars and dots. On the white part. I'm not sure you guys can see that really. But it's there. And then we have. Oop, pulled out two stuck to each other. So this is the notepad. Not notepad, sticky notes. So I like it. It's got the plaid all the way around it. It's got a cute little pink, shiny. It's kind of a shine bow. And then like the stars are here and the floral is there. This is kind of fun in your planner. I said I was going to start putting um, sticky notes on orders if you've ordered before and then note cards for like new orders is I think what I'm going to do. So this is a good amount of space for me to be like so and so thank you and then like my name or whatever. So I think that'll be fun. And then here's the die cuts which I know I need lots of room for because there's always a ton of these which I've never laminated them and I feel like I should. Oh, and the cards are in here too. There's your like quote cards. So here's some florals. Here's what looks like a TV tray with pillows on top. <laughs> and then I feel like I'm doing this upside down. Um, a cozy chair with a blanket. Oh, little mittens with the heart. That's cute. A little desk corner. Um, star. A ladder. Um... Like a plaid pattern flower, and then it's like greenery. That could be growing down or up. I don't know. And then there's some more flowers. Flowers. Um, fuzzy coat. Candles and a deer. Some like stars. And then here's some cozy candles. There's a star. Kind of a background with some wood. And then like some deco pieces. It says let it snow on the phone or tablet. And then there's like hot chocolate in the camera. And then it looks like there's two different kinds of quote thingy. So this one is like kind of a cream color and it says she is anything but ordinary and it has a star and then the silver foiling. 
And it says, you don't have to be perfect to be beautiful. No beauty shines than a brighter kind. No beauty shines than a brighter kind heart. I think we're missing a word. No beauty shines than a brighter kind heart. I don't know. The darkest nights produce the brightest stars. That's cute. And then there's shine bright. Oh, so here are some girls. Shine bright, shine bright. Different hair colors. Different hair colors on them. So I've got like blonde, black, reddish, and brown. That's awesome. They all say shine bright and they look like little Polaroid photos. And they have like the stars on there. They're not foiled, I don't think. No. Just checking. <laughs> so there's our little cards and die cuts. And then we have... Okay, I wonder if these were supposed to be... These, I think, were from the last... These were supposed to be in the last box. Because that flower is was attached to the pen loop. So she just put them in this box. These were confiscated at customs, I believe. So she was like, they aren't really exclusive to any kit, is what she said. But that flower was most definitely on the pen last time. There was a charm on the pen, and it matched that flower. So this is from last month's kit. But I don't think that she went through and, like, sent it to everybody that, like, ordered one last month. Um, I think it was just more of, like, um, she just moved it to this kit, I think is what happened. Because even this pattern paper, I think, matches last week. So the packaging matched last week, last month. So I think that's from there. All right, I was, like, super excited about these, the sticky pockets. Um, they're plaid, and they've got the foil stars which are a lot of fun. So she always includes like two sizes of each one. So there's a little one and then there's another little one that's blue with stars. And here's the bigger ones, the plaid with stars, and the pink with stars. So they're all a little different, which I think is good. So I'll probably be adding one of those to my planner. Then this is usually, usually, the stickers. Yeah, it's the stickers. So some of these are similar to like the die cut and some are different. Ooh, I like the foiling on the heart on the gloves. That's really cute. And then sometimes this tells me the direction the deco is supposed to go. And then there's some like little squares of deco. That's kind of fun. That's new. It does hang down. I was right. <laughs> and then, ooh, I like the plaid backing on this one. She's been including this quote sheet for a while now. Um, and it seems to always be the same quotes, just in a different color of foiling. Um, but the background is different this time, so that's kind of cool. And then here's like those snapshots. Oh, and here it's foiled. Here's the little stars in the back are foiled. But this is rose gold foiling, and so is this one. And then this one is rose gold foiling, and so is this one. So she did rose gold foiling on these ones, but then everything else is silver. Interesting. Interesting. All right. And then we have these silver puffy stickers, which she did include these ones before, and I did use them. So I used some of them in that scrapbooking thing that I did in my hobby planner. Um, so I thought I would use them again. We'll see. But it looks kind of fun, I think. I like the joy and blessed. I think it might be the same words and even the same flowers. I don't know. I feel like the stars are different. I feel like those were hearts. That's what I'm seeing as the big change. I don't know. Maybe this is. I don't remember. And then she started adding these in. Um, so this is, these are stickers. They're like strips. I'm going to open it. I don't really need to open that one. You can tell it's like silver puppy stickers. But this one, she's been doing these like not washing but I've seen people basically turn them into tabs so they'll put the bow like on here and turn it into tabs that way but it's like these are sticky but a lot of people are like laminating them onto other things the f the glitter seems to be a little rosy like rose goldy so I don't know if you guys can tell that or it's just like that because of my background I don't know yeah it was just like that because of the table <laughs> It was reflecting this color. That's funny. 
And then, then that's like a giant sheet of stars. So that's kind of cool to use as well. All right, and then we have the papers. Ooh, I just ripped part of the corner of the bag. Fell off. Oh well. I'm trying to slide it out. Okay, this is the last part. So excited. I'm gonna cut it open. I just go ahead and cut the whole thing open. Because I'm gonna use this, I know. Pretty much every single one I use the paper. I think there's been like a few projects where I don't, but I love paper. I used to scrapbook all the time, now I don't have time. So I'm gonna go this way with it so you guys can see them, but it might be directionally the other way. This one has some foiling, some little circle dots, and some stars. And then the back is light pink with silver stars that are foiled, and then just black and white stars. That is like the washi tape. So you get two sheets of that one. And then there's these. Ooh. This is... Oh, no. Is it supposed to be like that? Oh, it's the other side. Okay, I see what's happening. I, like, felt bumps in it, and I was like, what is happening? So it has, like, some flower, circle dot flowers on the back of here with some pink, light pink stars. And then on the other side, it has foiled plaid here and this foiling is like kind of embossed like it's impressed in the paper so that's the bump i was feeling but i really like this plaid pink plaid that's gorgeous okay so you get two of those you get usually get two of every cardstock and i usually grab some white paper but i always forget grab some white paper to show you guys this stuff okay so here's this one i'm showing you the right side Maybe I am. I guess I am. There's the stars. Do I get two? No, I don't know. Some no, it's just one. They just looked kind of like stacked, almost blurry looking. Like the printing. I don't know. I just thought it was. You guys see it? Like a kind of a blurriness. The stars. I thought maybe there was two, but it's definitely one sheet. But that's um the like plastic stuff. And then, oh, I think I had it backwards. I think it goes this way. I don't know. This one goes this way. This is vellum, and it's got plaid with pink stars on it. Pink stars are kind of textured. Nice. And then we got some of this, um, that black floral with pink stars, vellum. And then the last cardstock. This is black and white plaid. Then on the other side is that. See, I feel like that matches. But the pen color seems to be a little off. Like the company that tried to match her paper, I guess. I don't know. It could be the only one that noticed. It could look very similar to everyone else, and it's just me. But I don't know. I like the roses. Those are pretty. I like the plaid. The plaid and the stars are just like, I think, really good for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started from a project. Yay! I didn't bring my Xyron over here. I hope that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. I did bring my pencil and I need my TN. So right now it's it looks like this, which is like really this is an old one. This she gave us like a year ago. Um and then I have everything shoved into this pocket because I'm just kinda like moving in without really moving in. So <laughs> like I'm in here, but I'm not in here. <laughs> So I thought we would decorate the outside of this, is what I was thinking, the 1407 planner inserts. I'm gonna decorate those. So I do have stickers in here already, which makes it somewhat difficult, but I figured I could measure paper and just wrap it around, um, is my plan, and glue it um, for part of it. So then I need to choose a paper that I think will go well. And I'm really liking this plaid. So I think I'm gonna go with it. So I need to measure and cut. I need to shove stuff out of my way. I'm just gonna lay this down. Lay it this way, I guess. I don't know. It's a B6 insert. I don't know the measurements of a B6 insert. If you do, that's great. I have no idea. <laughs> All my planner stickers are coming out. Okay. Use my Aaron Condor and pencil that I got in that one box at one time. Okay, so right here. And then I don't want to make it wider than it is. 
there. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead and get my paper trimmer. I like my Fiskars one. It's my go-to. Doesn't fit on my camera, but I try. Okay, so I think my line's right there. Cut that off. And then... Where was my other line? I just cut off that side that had both lines on it. I don't know. Hold on, let me find it. That's it. It's hard to see on this pattern. It's right there. I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to cut it too short, though. There. That looks good. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. I got my snail glue. These are nice little strips, though. You can use those for something. Okay. So I'm going to put a bunch of glue on this side. The crafter's glue. I don't know how well this is going to stay, but we shall see. I don't want to ruin my inserts, but got to try it out at some point. I'm just snail gluing it. In case you're like, what are you doing? It's snail glue. I do want to make sure. Okay. That is the middle. I want to make sure I have like a line down the middle to get that spine. So, to make sure the spine is glued down really good is what I'm thinking. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. See, I also have this face in the beginning. In the beginning, there was nothing in my planner. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to line it up. That's crooked. There we go. We're doing it. It's gluing down. Okay. Oh, I did not think about the fold. We shall see. Okay, so I'm going to open this one up. And just lay it down. Yeah, it fits. Okay, I was thinking about, like, wrapping it around and how I was like, oh my gosh, it might be too short to wrap around. But then I was like, no, it's not. You measured it. I just need to squish it. What do I need to do? Because I didn't create, like, a full line or anything, so I just need to squish it down a little. Look at this cute little book I made. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just love the pattern. I'm, like, rubbing on it to make sure it stays nice and stuck down, because that's what I want. Okay, so there's my cover, and we'll do some more stuff to it. I just don't know yet. And then the inside needs something. I definitely want to do a pocket, but I'm thinking I want to make a background and then stick the sticky pocket to the paper. I just cracked my knuckles, sorry. Um, that bothers some people. So I think... Oh, this is hard. Okay, so I need to look at the sticky pockets. Where are you? Sticky pockets. Because I don't want to pick a pattern that's not going to look good with these. So I think I need to go... There's the plaid. There's a blue. Will these fit? Yes. Cool. Okay. So if I do... Ooh, yeah. Okay, so if I do a floral, then I could do this plaid or... I do this pink star. There's stars on it, though. Is there paper that does not have stars on it? Or does all the paper have stars? Oh, there's the plaid, which doesn't have stars. Oh, there's this one. I could do this one. Do this blue floral right here. Or I could do... I could continue the whole plaid thing. And do plaid right here. And then do the pink pocket. Ooh, I like it. Pink wins. Okay. It was it was a real debate there for a minute. Good minute. A good minute. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I want to look at... I'm going to glue it from there. To there. Make it a good deep dark pencil line because I'm not doing this again. Okay. Where I'm like, where is it? I don't know. This is fun. Okay, and then right there. Okay. Where's my paper trimmer? Let it go. There it is. I found it. 
Okay. Oh, where is it? <laughs> How do I do this? <laughs> there it is. Now, should I make background the same on the other side? Like, should I cut two of the exact same so that it's the same on the inside of the back page? I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but oh, that's fun. Okay. So what I'm saying is I'm putting this one on the inside here. Should I put that on the inside here so that it looks the same? Should I? I don't know. And you guys can't tell me because I don't film these live. I'm going to run out of glue runner. I put some on my Christmas list, so. But I also, ooh, my mother-in-law got me a gift card to Michael's, which is really funny because when people get me gift cards to Michael's, um, the rule is I can't buy anything that's for the shop because ugh, stuff for the shop is a tax write-off. I need to buy stuff that's for me. But then it's funny because I'll feature it in one of my YouTube videos and then it's tax write-off again. Vicious cycle. <laughs> Oh, planner problems. Well, I guess girl boss problems more than planner problems. Okay, so I'm trying to line it up at the edge. Okay. So I don't know if this is what people mean by planner setup, but this is what I mean because this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Hope you like it. <laughs> okay, and then I said I was going to go with this pink sticky pocket. See, and then I could do... Like a small sticky pocket in the back. Ooh, that's a nice line to match up with. Okay, so now we have our sticky pocket. So cute. Okay. And then I guess we could cover this too. I already did my monthly spread there. See, my fear is that like, oh, a monthly spread would be perfect right here. But I wouldn't want to start a monthly spread for the next month, the end of a planner anyway. So um, that's not really an issue. I'm thinking I should make the back the same as the front. I feel like I should. We'll think about it. I'm going to think about it. We're going to think on it. Okay, but I really like this one. Like the florals. I think that's going to go here. I need to measure that page. And where it stops and where it starts. This is so much fun. I hope you guys like this video. I mean, I might I might do this more often because I have four inserts and I'm gonna get six. I'm gonna get six um, boxes from the Planner Society a year. That means potentially I could do this kind of video like at least three more times because this one is from last year. But it's going in my planner for this year. It's kind of confusing. Oh well. Okay, so this one's going here. I don't really need to cut until about there. Because the direction I wanted the flowers to go. I didn't cut it the way that I guess I should have. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's pretty too. Just there's not enough on here to do another one like that, but you get two sheets of bird paper. I feel like I'm definitely getting more use out of the box right now, though. Okay, so I need to glue this one. I feel like my stickers are just going to flop out everywhere. But they're not so far, so or I'm going to run out of glue. My orange one, I think, is out, but I might have a refill for it somewhere, so I need to dig it out. But I think I'm out of refills for my... ATG gun is what I was talking about earlier. But I was like, oh, I need to buy refills for that. But I think I buy those at Hobby Lobby. Ow. Like stuck to my finger really hard. <laughs> In case you're wondering why I yelled ow, that would be why. Okay. Key is to not have bubbles. Because it's paper. That would be a nightmare. I don't know how well I'm going to like that, but... There's no hangover, so that's good. I actually turned some of that off, but I won't. Okay, so there's that one. 
that's the inside of the front. So let's do the back. Ooh, what am I doing now? Did I rip it? Oh, I just folded it. It just touched the paper. I see what's happening. Okay, so I think that I'm going to do this blue floral. We're just going to go different everywhere. Because I think that would be fun. I just think it would. Okay. Put this one here. There. There. That down. It feels sturdier now that I have all this like cardstock on it. My insert feels like really sturdy. So I like that. I feel like I haven't even gotten to the decorating process. I know I haven't. Like I'm just covering with paper right now. Do you guys remember having to cover your books at school? I feel like kids nowadays are not going to know that pain of like having to ask for paper bags at checkout instead of plastic because it was time to cover your books at school. Do you guys remember that? You don't have to cover books at school anymore because they don't have books. They have tech books. Our, our textbooks are online at my school in case you wanted to know. I'm sure you don't care, but I'm a teacher if you're new to my channel or if you're new to the Planner Society and you're wanting to see what to do with it. I have other project videos. Um, for the last one, I made a Christmas ornament. Um, I don't know what I did with that. I decorated picture frames. I've made little picture frame stand, decorated picture stand holder. I don't know. All sorts of stuff. Okay. Well, for this one is to get as far in as we can. Then lined up with it straight. Okay, good there. See, and then I'm thinking this plaid one would look good right here. Yeah, right there, maybe. I don't know if I need two pockets. I don't know, probably. I feel like you can never have too many pockets. But maybe you can, I don't know. So, what other paper have I not used? I used the floral, I used the plaid. Use that one. I haven't used. Where's the back side of this? Oh, because I only have strips left of that. So it'd have to be this one. Which I feel like is weird because it's like it's got that foiling and I can see the bumps through it. So I don't really like it. I don't. That's just me though. Okay, should I do. I want to do another floral though. Like super floral. Oh, I could do the stars. Down the stars? I did that part. Which I cut down so much that I didn't have... I don't have enough left to do an insert because I cut it funny. Oops. I won't make that mistake again. Okay, we'll do the stars on this side. It's a little bit different. I don't know what other people do. It was funny because I had a lot of people that are like, you should watch some videos. And I'm like, no, because I want to do my own thing. Like, I'm always like that. My mom said when my phrases when I was a kid was, I do it. No, I do it. So I think that I just, I'm just that way. Where I'm like, no, I'll do it. I'll figure it out. So. I have not watched anyone else do anything like this. As far as that goes, I'm sure other people do it like this. I'm sure I'm not the first one to go, ooh, cardstock. I'm gonna cover paper with it. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I feel like this is a little time consuming and I'm not even really doing like a the planner setup where I'm like doing the inside of my TN. I feel like it needs to go that way. It just feels like it's brighter down here and like going out. Should I have it like falling down? Don't know. Do you like it that way? Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's put some glue on it. This is crafter's tape from Ad Tech. I have no idea. I think one of my friends sent it to me. In one of my boxes. Oops. I'm running out of room. There's a lot going on. With everything I've unboxed all over my desk. Probably doesn't even need that much. 
feel like I'm gonna have people going, you're wasting it. I'm not if I'm using it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sassy. Just a little, just a little sass. There you go. Got it. Blue it on. I feel like this is gonna get puffier and puffier as I add stickers to each layer anyway. Like each page is gonna start having stickers on it. Feels like it does not want to close, but it's kind of a good thing because then when I play in, maybe it'll lay flatter. So if I covered it that way. Okay, so I said I would stick another sticky pocket on this side. I think I'm gonna go with the wide plaid one, which I did feel like there was a lot of trouble with um, these splitting. She has sent us ones now that are like stitched, but I just taped it a little and it was fine. But I will tell you that sometimes these do split on the sides. I have noticed. Ooh, don't wanna touch it too much. Probably too much already. Oh, don't have bubbles either. Okay, so now there's a pocket. It's like having trouble staying stuck. You don't want to overfill these pockets. That's probably why mine split. Because I tend to shove too much in there. Just kind of happens that way. Okay, so that is set up a little bit. But now we need to like add other things to it or add like words and phrases or something. Um, I haven't really thought about any of these. Ooh, that could be fun. The top. Just add some of that. And maybe at the bottom. Ooh, that could be fun. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do stuff. <laughs> it's kind of how this works. Okay, I kind of want to like lay it flat. Like, open it in the middle somewhere. Advertising for all the shops I PR for. <laughs> Oops. Well, I thought I should just go all the way across the top with it, but now I'm thinking maybe not because I won't have enough. But I mean, make sure I'm doing the top. Yeah. Okay, just the back page. That back page feels so thick now. Bunch of layers of cardstock. Okay, so this is going to go here. All the way across. I mean, other people have to decorate their inserts, right? So it just means that would be crazy. You have to, I think. And then we'll just stick this one over here. No one will know that it's separated. And then I'll cut it off. It's weird. This feels so, like, plasticky. Almost like jellies. They're maybe like the shoe jellies. <laughs> Is that weird? Kind of, probably. Okay, and then I need to get rid of the rest of this, so. I'm just going to stick it on the inside. I don't think it'll re-stick real well to my other stuff. Like, back on the paper that it's on. That's a fun layer. We have one left. Cut that off. Okay, that's done. Ooh, that's cute. You guys can't really see it, but it's there and I know it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, so I use some of that. And then we could do planner girl. I did think about like mounting my sticky notes in here, but I said I might use those in orders. Wasn't it supposed to be chunky? What if I mounted this in here? I just glued it on. I should probably glue it up here. Under the scallops, or should I go down here? I can't go down here because the sticker stickers are gonna go in that pocket. I can mount that right here. Maybe I shouldn't mount all of them. That's what I should do. I just take a few, and then when I run out, I'm not gonna glue them in. I'm just gonna stick it on. I'm gonna have sticky notes in here, like a dashboard kind of. I can make a note of things. That's cool. Okay, then I want. I want to add some something. Some something. Ooh, this one? Oh, I can't because I put that up there. If I add it, it's going to have to go that way and I'll hate it. <laughs> I'm like, if I add it, <laughs> why will I hate it? 
I don't know. <laughs> I just won't like it. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking planner girl across here or hello. I like the mason jar. Let's do the hello one. That's fun. I don't know how to lay this down. I'll just do the mason jar first. I like the silver. Okay. Take that down. Oh, I guess I could put... Can I fit plain in there? No. Stop trying to change the design. I know. Okay, so if I line it up here... Do it this way. And then get it on there straight. Did you see what I just did there? Because that's how you do it. <laughs> so you don't have to hand piece all those letters. Got time for that. These are little dots that I feel like are just going to come off. They're like sprinkles. Oh, they're stuck to my finger now. I didn't even know where these were. There's one over here. I'm using it because it's there, but they seem kind of a pain. <laughs> there. Okay, so that one's cute. And then we do some floral right there. Do that. Some floral right there. That's cute. Okay. Got that going for us. And then Oh, I haven't even used the die cuts. Or the quotes. Oh my gosh. I don't like the TV tray with pillows. I know it's not a TV tray with pillows, but that's what I'm going to picture every time I see it. Candles are cute. This is off white, and it like I can't put it next to white. I just can't. So, not happening. That's too big. And... Not in love with the deer because I don't want it to be winter the whole time. In this spread. Oh, I kind of like that. I liked the hanging plant. Remember? Don't you remember? We just talked about this. <laughs> See, I like this, but I don't necessarily want winter. But I feel like candles don't have to be winter. I mean, I guess those are kind of cozy looking. So they kind of are, but definitely want these flowers up here. I think. And then. I want the candles down here. Blue runner. I feel like this video is longer than like all my other ones. Oh my gosh. I just keep going. There's just so much to play with when you do this. Like dicting. Ooh, finger got stuck. Okay, put this right there. And then we'll put these right here. Okay, so we'll call that good. And then we'll move back here. Um, I thought about doing some stickers. I don't know. I don't want to make it wintry, and I feel like that makes it wintry. I don't want that. Those are deco. I believe she could, so she did. I like that phrase. I could stick that somewhere. I haven't even used the washi tape, which I thought we were going to. But I haven't. I don't know why. Just have not. I like that one up there. Um, maybe with some, like, coral sticker. And then we could do, it looks like me, she looks like me. We could do this one here, even though she does look wintry, but I feel like no matter what these months, the, the months that are going to be in this planner is going to be basically like January, February, maybe a little bit of March. So I feel like this would be fitting to go in here. We'll do that one. I think what I want and then I want to put some more puppy stickers in here with it so I'm gonna put this one down here and then I like the green one put 
the stars. Like add some 3D element to it. I don't know. So that would be fun. So I think that's how that's gonna look. Can use one more star. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, I hope you guys got to see everything. So that's the inside. That's the front, which looks more boring than it is because there's that glitter up there. I didn't do anything on the back yet. I guess I should. Everything else is decorated. Um, I don't want to do another girl. I just, it's so creamy. I just, no. It's just not going to happen. Okay. Um, I'm looking for what I want to use. That's kind of the same width, but I feel like that's kind of weird. I put four in the middle. No? Not that weird? I don't know. Well, then... Um... We can go with the whole, you can dream it, you can do it. Bigger. Here. Maybe I should put a die cut down. Like put this down and then have this like shooting off of it. Stars are cute. And the whole theme is kind of stars. Someone was asking me my theme for my TN and I was like, I don't know. Whatever's in the Planner Society box. <laughs> I think it was Angie. <laughs> I was like, girl, I don't even know. <laughs> it's whatever comes in that box. <laughs> what I plan on doing. So I think we'll do this across here. That just kind of layers it a little bit. And then do some other florals, but I don't feel like there's just that's too much. That's not really me. Well, yeah, it is. We'll put that one over there because why not? Because I can. This one over here, a little crooked. I like it. Okay, and then what I was thinking about was adding a tab. In the beginning for January, but the problem is it will. Well, I guess there's a room. But the problem is it'll hang over to this side, so that's what I'm not keen on putting it because it'll cover up that side. So I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> just not happening. But there is some cute stickers here, like a girl boss and stuff, like extra headers almost. Um, and things like that. So I may use this, but, um, I may not, I don't know yet, but I do feel like there's less header, less, um, tabs. I don't know if that's a thing or not. So I think that is how it's going to look. So it's not like a setup as in like the inside of this. Like I've seen people like cover this in paper and like completely change like the inside of their planner, like cover this in paper and stuff. And I didn't really do that. So Sorry if that's what you thought, but I was mostly just going to like decorate my outside of my inserts, which is what I did. And I like it. It feels very chubby, but that's good. And then now I have sticky pockets so I can put some of these stickers in there because some of these should be small enough to fit in there. So, but like I said, you don't want to overfill it or it'll split. I can put some in there like that. And then this back one, put some in there, put all of it in there because I feel like it's too much. I don't want to break the pocket just yet since I just got it. So put that one in there. And then the rest of these can go in this front pocket. I was using the giant gold clips to hold my planner open during my time with me, so... There you go. So I think that's the way it's going to look, at least for my first one. So hope you guys like it and give this video a like and please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.